It's time to get your checking account to zero with free checking from PenFed. That's zero ATM fees, zero balance requirements, and zero time spent waiting for your paycheck to direct deposit because you can receive it up to two days early. Open your account with just $25 and see how big zero can be. Apply online today at PenFed.org slash free checking. Early direct deposit eligibility may vary between pay periods and timing of payers' funding. To receive any advertised product, you must become a member of PenFed, insured by NCUA. Discover, this is Daniela. Hi, it's Jennifer Coolidge. I just want to thank you for making me feel so special. I earned cash back on debit for my dinner party groceries. That's great. But with Discover Cashback Debit, we give everyone cash back on everyday purchases. Anything else I can help you with? Do you like asparagus and mushroom sorbet? I've got leftovers. Introducing Discover Cashback Debit, a checking account with cash back. It pays to Discover. Eligibility in terms at discover.com slash cashback debit. Discover Bank, member FDIC. The Kraft Foods Company presents The Great Gildersleeve. I'm back. (laughs) Well, it's the day before Christmas, and the Gildersleeve household is decked out merry and bright. In the living room, there's holly and mistletoe, and a Christmas tree glittering with tinsel. And upstairs, why, who's that? Looks like old St. Nick himself with his red coat and white whiskers. Let's take a closer look. Zeef. Well, it's our old friend, the great Gildersleeve. Oh, don't pull that belt so tight, Marjorie. All right, Uncle Mark. I've got to breathe, you know. (sighs) That's better. And here's your cap. Here, let me put it on for you. That's all right. Hold still, Uncle. You don't want the tassel in your face. You can look in the mirror when I get through. I want to see what I look like. You look like Santa Claus. I do. (laughs) Auntie, don't fidget. Well, hurry up. Oh, all right. Go look at yourself. Say, not bad. Wouldn't know myself behind these white whiskers. Uh, Does the coat fit all right in the back? Yes, Auntie. Guess I look pretty good, huh, Margie? Yes, you look fine. Better than the Santa Claus at Hogan Brothers, huh? Yes. Yeah, let's see. Hey, I look good sideways, too. (laughs) Ah, Hunky, don't be such a ham. I'm Santa Claus, a jolly old fellow. Oh, 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 brother. (laughs) You better take the costume off now and save it for tonight. Maybe you ought to wear it for a while, sort of get used to the character, huh? What an excuse. Yeah, I guess you're right. I want to get it all wrinkled. As long as I got it on, might as well go down and show it to Bertie. As long as I got it on. Anki, you're such a child. <laughs> yeah, I'll get in my sleigh behind the reindeer and ride away. Giddy up! Anki, be careful! Come on, you reindeer! Giddy up, prancer and dancer! Come, Dunder, come, Blitzen! Did you buy me this kill, please? <laughs> no, Bertie, I. Just wanted to show you my costume. Oh. <laughs> oh, it looks fine, Mr. Gilsey. Yeah, glad you like it. Dr. Needham asked me to play Santa Claus at his church tonight for the kids. That's nice. You sure fooled me, Mr. Gilsey. If I didn't know it was you, I never would have recognized you. Really? Yes, sir. You sure fooled me with them whiskers and everything. <laughs> and them boots. You sure look fat all right with that pillow stuck under your coat. Bertie, that's no pillow. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Gilsey. That's all right. Guess I am getting a little stout. <laughs> you feed me too well, Bertie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want me to take the presents out of the closet now and put them under the tree? Uh, please, Bertie. Got to go down to Hogan Brothers and pick up Leroy's model airplane. Didn't you get that yet, Mr. Gilsey? Well, I haven't had time. But I'm going to get it right now. That airplane, that's all Leroy's been talking about. Yeah, I know. Model airplane, model airplane, morning, noon, and night. Yes, buddy. That's all he talks about. Yes, sir. Come on, if you don't believe me, come on in the house. Sounds like Leroy. I'm going to get out of here before he starts asking me questions about that airplane. And see you later, Bertie. (laughs) Santa Claus. I have sworn he had a pillow under there. I guess I better establish some food controls around here. Hi, Bertie. Hello, Leroy. And who's this little man? No, he's just a new kid. He said his Christmas tree was bigger than ours. It is bigger. Don't believe I ever saw him before. My name is Donald Robert White. I just moved here. Oh, a new friend. That's nice. He's no friend of mine. He's just been hanging around here. He's a twerp. Oh, now, Leroy. He looks like a fine little boy. 
McDonald's, we got some nice cookies. Would you like one? Uh Uh-uh. We got plenty of cookies at home. Nicer than yours, I'll bet. (laughs) I told you he was a twerp. Well, if you change your mind, just come on out in the kitchen and ask for one. And take off your coats now so you won't catch cold when you go out again. You see that tree? It's bigger than yours. It is not. It is, too. It almost touches the ceiling. Or it touches the ceiling. Must be a low ceiling. <laughs> it is not. It's a great big room. Uh, and our house is bigger than your house. Twice as big. And we have a chauffeur at, and a butler. Well, I bet I'm going to get more for Christmas than you are. I bet you're not. I bet I am. Going to get all kinds of things. So am I. I'm going to get a model airplane. So am I. You're a twerp. And my model airplane's going to be bigger than yours. Go home and tell your mother she wants you. And I'm going to get a, a scooter, too. Beat it. And an air rifle. Get out of here, you little twerp. And a pony. Go on, beat it. And a electric brake. Hmm. I think she's so smart. What do I care what he gets? Little twerp. Uh, hello, Leroy. Come along. Uh, what's the matter, my boy? No, that new kid was just over here bragging about all the things he's going to get for Christmas. Oh. An air rifle, a scooter, a pony. Well, his folks are probably wealthy. Oh, they are. They have a chauffeur and a butler. Oh, well, you must remember, Leroy, that your old uncle isn't Oh, that... I don't want all those things. You can have them if he wants it. Just so I get my model airplane. That's all I want. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> well, see you later, Leroy. Where'd you hide my airplane, Unc? Uh... Is it in your room? No. <laughs> Is it in the woodshed? That'd be telling. <laughs> well, it's not up in the attic. I looked up there. It'll be under the tree tomorrow morning. Don't you worry. Sure, I'm not worried, Unc. I know you won't let me down on Christmas. A little kid like me. Yeah, of course not. <laughs> well, see you later, Leroy. Fourth floor, Toyland. Yeah, thank you. What a mob. Why do all these people wait the last minute to do their shopping? I have to fight my way over to the model airplanes. Excuse me. Excuse me, please. Madam, watch your elbow. Packed in here like tuna. Hot in here. Feel dizzy. Can't breathe. I'm going to faint. No, guess I can't. No room to fall down. Made it. Just lean on the counter here a minute. Uh, here's your package, madam. Now, who's next? Uh, oh, one at a time, one at a time. Please, don't crowd. Clerk, clerk. Uh, what did you want, madam? Clerk. Uh, yes? I want to buy a model airplane. Oh, I'm sorry, they're all gone. Uh, yes, madam, what was it? But clerk, they can't be gone. Uh, chemistry set, madam, uh, right over here. Clerk, I've got to have one. I'm sorry, sir. Model airplanes are all gone. Sold the last one a few minutes ago. But... Clerk! You heard what he said, buddy. Get out of the way. Please give somebody else a chance. I'll stand here as long as I want to. I'm a taxpayer. Oh. All right, I surrender. Let me out of here. Pack of wolves. Lucky to get out of there alive. Now what am I going to do? No model airplane. What will I tell Leroy? He'll never forgive me. Wonder if that clerk was telling me the truth. But they got one around here someplace. I'm just too lazy to look. That's the trouble. What's that music? Oh, Santa Claus over there. A line of little kids waiting to see him. Say, he works here. Maybe I could get him to get me the. Sure. <laughs> I'll just slip him a five dollar bill. Look at that little girl on his knee. Cute. And I want a mama doll, and a set of play dishes, and a great big dollhouse. All right, my dear. And, oh, Santa Claus. Yes? I thought I might just mention a tricycle. <laughs> you might just mention one, huh? <laughs> well, you just be a good little girl, and we'll see. Thank you, Santa. 
Now the next little... Uh, 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 Santa Claus. Yes? I'd uh, like to talk to you. What about? Well, um, a Christmas present. Well, you're a little big to sit on Santa's knee. <laughs> but you just get in line and Santa Claus will take care of it. I don't want to get in line. I just want you to talk... You have to wait your turn. Those are Santa's rules. But Santa Claus, this will only take a minute. Now be a good little boy and mind Santa. You won't get anything for Christmas. But you don't understand, Santa. I just wanted you to get me a model airplane. Model but... airplane. All right. You just write a note to Santa Claus... Care of the North Pole. What? <laughs> Ye gods, look, you can save that stuff for the kids. I want to buy one. Please, mister. These children are waiting. Well, the clerk said they were all out of airplanes. I thought maybe you could have a look around and see if you could find one. I'm sorry, I can't leave here. Make it worth your while. Here's five dollars. Put that money away. You can't bribe me. But I... In front of all those kids, too. Want them to lose their faith in Santa Claus? Of course not. I'm Santa Claus. Remember that. I know that. Kids I... all over the world love me. I didn't say they didn't love you. You were trying to slip me a $5 bill. I'm sorry, Santa. I didn't mean to. Say, say. Uh, little boy's listening to us. Where? You want to spoil this Christmas? Huh? Now, come on. Make it sound good. Well, Sonny. <laughs> huh? So you want an electric train for Christmas. <laughs> and what else do you want? What? Uh, come on. <laughs> Tell Santa what you want, Sonny. Oh. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> I want a set of drums and some toy soldiers and a Mickey Mouse watch. Well, <laughs> you just mind your mama and papa and Santa Claus will see that you get them. Oh, goody. <laughs> Thank you, Santa Claus. Well, not at all. Next, little boy. <laughs> Christmas this is going to be. How am I going to ever face Leroy? <sighs> Snowing again, too. Uh, not a model airplane in the whole town. Well, I hope this chemistry set and power so I'll make them feel better. But they won't. I can just see little Leroy's face looking up at me. Tears in his eyes. Because his old uncle let him down. <sighs> Merry Christmas, Mr. Gildersleeve. Uh, Merry Christmas. What's Mary about it? My feet are cold. I'll probably catch pneumonia. Well, serves me right. Anybody who would disappoint a little boy at Christmas is a Scrooge. You're a Scrooge, Gildersleeve. Uh, stray dog. Look out, little doggy. I almost stepped on you. Cute little mutt. Kind of flop-eared. Get away now. Go on. Don't follow me. Go away. Uh, well, here's the house. Might as well go in. Get this thing over with. Tell Leroy now. He's going to be broken hearted. You still here? No use looking at me like that. You can't come in here. Go away, little doggy. Go on now. Get your nose back. Oh, uh, hello, Leroy. What's in the packages? Uh, Leroy, I'd like to talk to you. What's the matter, Unc? Leroy, uh, maybe we better sit down. For corn's sake, what is it? Leroy. Yeah? There's something I want to tell you. Okay. You know, I promised you a model airplane for Christmas. Yeah, and you sure hit it good. I couldn't find it anywhere. My boy, I'm afraid you won't find it. What? I didn't get your model airplane. No, Leroy. You know that's what I wanted. You promised me. No, I'm sorry, Leroy. I got you something else. I got you. You promised me. Uncle, Uncle, dog. I just go sleep. I just opened the back door and then he flew. Oh, that, that, that's the dog that. Uncle, you got me a dog for Christmas. Huh? A dog you're gonna surprise me all the time. Well, Leroy, he I. Looks just... funny, all white with a little black spot in his nose. Come here, fella. Come here. <laughs> Mr. Gilsley, I thought you were going to get Leroy a model airplane. Who cares about an old airplane? Leroy, I want to tell you... You don't have to tell me anything, Unc. A dog. Gee, you don't know how happy I am. You don't know how happy I am. <laughs> now, as we return...
join the great Gildersleeve, it's Christmas Eve. The great man is in a merry mood as he gets ready to play Santa Claus at the church party. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. He makes a jovial-looking Saint Nick as he picks up his sack of toys, throws them over his shoulder, and starts down the stairs. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. What's that? Leroy! Leroy, now what's the matter? Snowball's gone! What? Snowball's gone! Who's Snowball? My dog! Oh! I came in the house for a drink of water, and when I went back out, he was gone! Snowball's gone! Well, quit crying. I'm sure he's around someplace. He'll come back. No, he won't. I'll bet that little twerp stole him. Huh? Donald stole him. Donald? Who's Donald? That new kid has been hanging around here. He wanted to play with Snowball and I wouldn't let him. Now, that little boy wouldn't take your dog, Leroy. Wealthy kid like him. He's got plenty of things to play with. I don't care. He stole him. Now, Leroy, we don't go around accusing people. Well, he did. Well, that Snowball just sort of strayed away. He couldn't have gone very far. Why don't you go out and look for him? Will you help me look for him, Monk? I can't, Leroy. I've got to play Santa Claus at the church pretty soon. Oh, Myself. You've got to help me. But they'll be expecting me. I can't disappoint all those little kids. I'm a little kid. <laughs> you can find him yourself. You know I can't go running around the streets in this outfit. I'll never find him. Snowball guy. All right, Leroy. I'll go help you look. Gee, thanks, huh? Well, just for a few minutes. Come on now. Cold out here. Yeah. And it's snowing harder, too. Poor little dog. I can just see him lying in the snow somewhere, freezing to death. Gee, gods, Leroy. He's probably warmer than we are. He's got fur. We've got to find him, Monk. Where is he? I don't see him. We haven't started looking yet. Now, you go that way, and I'll go this way. We'll do this systematically, like the FBI. Okay, Unc. Here, Snowball. Snowball is probably sleeping under a nice warm stove someplace. Here, Snowball! Here, Snowball! 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 Where is that dog? I must have walked two miles. Uh, PV's still open. I think I'll drop in for a minute and get warm. Yeah, good evening, PV. Oh, hello, Mr. Gildersleeve. Or should I say Santa Claus? <laughs> I'm giving out toys to the kids at the church tonight. <laughs> well, if I may say so, you make an excellent Kris Kringle. Uh, thanks, PV. And you got your figure for it, too. Just a proper plumpness. Yes, PB. You know, Mr. Gildersleeve, looking at you brings back the question I used to ask myself when I was a boy. Oh, what was that? How does a chubby fellow like Santa Claus get down all those tiny chimneys? Well, I'm not going down any chimneys. I'm glad to hear that. What can I do for you this Christmas Eve? PB, I'm looking for a dog. Well, drugstores carry a wide variety of merchandise these days, but I never heard of one of them selling dogs. Of course, it might be a new trend. I don't want to buy a dog, Peavy. I'm looking for Leroy's dog. He's lost. Oh, sorry to hear that, Mr. Gildersleeve. They say a dog is man's best friend. Yes, yes. Of course, I wouldn't know myself. We have a cat. Peavy. He isn't very friendly. When I come home at night, he spits at me. He <laughs> gods. All I want to know is, did you see anything that looked like a little dog around here? Well, I saw a little dog that looked like a dog. You did? <laughs> well, what did it look like? It looked like a dog. <laughs> Peavy, was it a little white dog with a black spot on his nose? Well, yes, that's a fairly accurate description. That's the one, Peavy, that snowball. Where'd he go? Well, I don't know. There was a little boy with him. Came in to get some candy. What? Cute little fellow. I never saw him around here before. Leroy was right. That little boy took that dog. What's that, Mr. Gallagher? He stole it. He can't do this to Leroy. He's not going to get away with it. 
But, Mr. Gildersleeve, you can't accuse him of... You said yourself you saw him with the dog. Yes, but that doesn't... Why, he's nothing but a little criminal. He ought to be put in jail. Well, no, I wouldn't say that. (laughs) Well, I would. Mr. Gildersleeve, I don't like to say this, but that's no way for Santa Claus to talk about a little boy. Well, I'm not Santa Claus. You certainly aren't. Goodbye and a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And, Judge, if they don't give that dog back, I'm going to take this case to court. And I want you to represent me. Gildy, this whole thing is ridiculous. You can't sue a little boy. Well, I can sue his parents. They don't frighten me. Chauffeur, butlerts. Gildy, you're behaving like an idiot. It was just a stray dog, anyhow. My advice to you is to observe the spirit of Christmas and forget all about this. And you won't take the case? No, I won't. Well, you're no friend of mine. And you're no friend of mine. But, Commissioner... Well, are you the chief of police or aren't you? Yes, but you can't expect me to make an arrest on Christmas Eve. I don't care what it is. And with no evidence. Peavy saw him with a dog. But, Commissioner, he's just a little boy. That doesn't make any difference. And you, you dressed up like Santa Claus, too. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? No, I'm not. A fine chief of police you are. You ought to be back directing traffic. But, Commissioner... Never mind, I'll handle this myself. Hurry up, Leroy. Okay. Are you sure you know where this little rich boy lives? He's out with the big gray house down at the next corner. Well, we'll get that dog back, Leroy. Don't you worry. Sure, Unc. I'll tell that boy's father a thing or two. Silk hat Harry. And I'll show that kid, too. Little twerp. <sighs> the sack of toys is getting heavy. But hurry up and get this over with so I can get down to the church. I'm late now. Well, this is the corner. See, this house can't be it. It's just a little place. He said I was on this corner. There must be some mistake. A wealthy family wouldn't live in a little house like that. Let's go in there. Maybe they can tell us where he does live. Uh, uh, uh. Yes? Oh, it's Santa Claus. Uh-huh. Well, just for tonight, I'm the water commissioner in town. Uh, Throckmorton P. Gillisleeve. I wonder if you could tell Won't me... Won't you both come in? Yeah, uh, thank you. I'm looking for a little boy. I wonder if you could tell me where Donald White lives. Why, yes, he lives here. Huh? But he told Leroy that he lived, uh... That he lived in a big house and had a chauffeur and a butler? Yeah. I'm afraid Donald has quite an imagination. He doesn't mean any harm. Oh, sure he doesn't. Uh, are you his mother? No. No, he's my sister's boy. She and her husband just separated, so she left him with me for a while until she finds a job. Oh. I see. Oh, make him give me my dog. Shh, shh. Uh, So he's staying here with you, eh? Yes. Things haven't been too good for them, and to make up for it, Donald has built an imaginary world of his own. That's why he tells all those stories. Then he isn't going to get all those things for Christmas? A scooter and a pony? No, I'm afraid not. I just have a few little things for him. I don't care. I want my dog. Shh. Funny how children think up all those things. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, what was it you wanted to see Donald about? Uh, mm. Well, <laughs> you see, the dog... Oh, that's your dog. He brought it home this afternoon. I knew it belonged to someone in the neighborhood. Yes, it's my nephew's. Yeah, it's my dog. Oh. Well, Donald said Santa Claus gave it to him, said he could keep it. I was going to find out who it belonged to in the morning, but as long as you're here, you'd better take him. Well, uh... Uh, Right here in the bedroom. Oh, he's got the dog in bed with him. They're both asleep. Maybe we could come back tomorrow. Hunk! So long. Be still. Donald? Santa Claus! (laughs) Oh, gee, Santa Claus, it's really you. Oh, thanks for the dog. Uh, Donald. I told her you gave it to me. Uh, But, but, I told her, but she didn't believe me. Um, you know, Donald, Santa Claus has so much to do, he, he makes mistakes sometimes. What? And once in a while he gets mixed up and gives a present to the wrong boy. You didn't make a mistake, did you, Santa Claus? Well, uh... I, I'm afraid he did, dear. Oh, did you, Santa Claus? Mm, well, you see... Donald, maybe next year he'll bring you a little... You do- gave the dog to me, didn't you, Santa Claus? Well, it looks like I did make a mistake, Donald. You see, the dog really belongs to... to... No! It didn't make a mistake, Santa Claus. What's that, Leroy? <laughs> 
It's Donald's dog. It is? Sure. I didn't want a dog in the first place. Then it's really mine? Sure, it's, it's yours. Oh, gee. Uh, and Donald, I've got some toys for you in my sack. Here you are. A jumping jack, and look, a top, Leroy, and a sack of marbles. Oh, thanks, Santa Claus. Merry Christmas, Donald. Merry Christmas. Thanks. Both of you. Not at all. Well, Santa Claus has some more calls to make. Come on, Leroy. My boy. Christmas, everybody. Merry oh, Christmas, Gildy. Nice of you all to drop over. Makes it a real Christmas day. Guess I don't deserve it the way I acted last night. You were just being your usual pig-headed self, Gildy. No, look here, horse. Well, you were. Gentlemen, gentlemen, we may have our little arguments, but remember, we're all friends. Yes, we're all true jolly boys, aren't we, Floyd? Sure, Commish, we gotta respect the Yuletide spirit. Let's have another drink of punch. Well, uh, oh, Leroy. Yes, Judge? There's a Christmas present for you out in the hall. Something special. Yeah? What is it? It's a model airplane. What? I knew your uncle would keep putting it off, so I picked it up yesterday afternoon. The last one. A model airplane? Thanks, Judge. Thanks. That's very thoughtful of you, Horace, old man. Thanks very much. It's all right, Gildy. You'll get the bill in the morning. <laughs> Okay, aren't we going to sing Christmas carols? Oh, carols. Oh, yeah, good idea, Marjorie. How about you starting it off, Bertie? Well, if you want me to, Mr. Gilfrey. Yes, Bertie, that old English carol you sing at church every year. That's a lovely thing. Yeah, all right, if you want me to. I'll play for you, Bertie. Okay. be the proper time for all of us to lift our voices in song. Now, may I suggest joy to the world? Uh, you may, Peavy. Come on, everybody. Joy to the world. Joy! Myself, the cast of the great Gildersleeve show, and our sponsor, the Kraft Foods Company, I'd like to add my heartfelt wish for a very joyous Christmas. And may tomorrow's day of happiness and peace personify the happiness and peace that all the world is seeking. Good night. Hey guys, it is Ryan. I'm not sure if you know this about me, but I'm a bit of a fun fanatic when I can. I like to work, but I like fun too. It's a thing. And now the truth is out there. I can tell you about my favorite place to have fun. Chumba Casino. They have hundreds of social casino style games to choose from with new games released each week. You can play for free anytime, anywhere and each day brings a new chance to collect daily bonuses. So join me in the fun. Sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. VTW. Void or prohibited by law. See terms and conditions 18 plus. It is Ryan here, and I have a question for you. What do you do when you win? Like, are you a fist pumper? A woo a hand clapper, a high-fiver. I kind of like the high-five, but if you want to hone in on those winning moves, check out Chumba Casino. At ChumbaCasino.com, choose from hundreds of social casino-style games for your chance to redeem serious cash prizes. There are new game releases weekly, plus free daily bonuses, so don't wait. Start having the most fun ever at ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. VGW. Void or prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus.